welcome to the official Munsey podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munsey. And I'm Craig, also known as C. Michelle. I'm an avid Munsey player and I'm here to explore the game further. Each week we'll delve into Munsey's mysteries, divulge some secrets, and inform players from around the world just what is coming your way. So sit back and relax as today's episode we talk all about how exciting, yes, exciting April is going to be, and it definitely is. And we have to stick around to the end. Why? Because Rob, yes, Rob. You let off the hook today, mate. You let off the hook. The question isn't for you today. No, it's not for you, mate. It's not for you. What? We've got a special guest. I didn't. A special guest coming on I didn't later. I this. know, right? I didn't. I know. This. You didn't yeah. even see this until this morning when the you saw the show notes. And went, what the hell? What's going on here, Craig? So there you go. Might be a bit upset, but I'm going to hide that. Exactly, mate. Uh, you look very. You look very flushed at the moment. You look very. You've been busy. You know, you've been out there. You've been. You oh. know, some sun by the looks of things in England, especially. Well, uh, yeah, in England, yeah. right? I, five minutes of. Sun. <laughs> <laughs> while walking between the clouds and the raindrops. Um, no, but you know what? I've actually come to find out that uh, that I, d- I do enjoy walking around in England. Oh. You know, it's it you can because it's not too hot. Um, so it's it's actually a good thing. Um, yeah, man, I've been out uh, doing some testing oh. and uh, walking around with Cappy the unicorn. Really? Wow. Yeah. Stick around, oh. everyone, because I'm going to tell you more about Cappy oh. the Unicorn at the end. And here I was, so stick here I was, Rob, thinking that you're going from brewery to brewery to brewery. But no, no, you're getting these <laughs> these Cappy things, whatever they are. So we'll we'll find out well, more very very soon about those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was a little bit of the other as yeah. well, but but yeah, it, Cappy Cappy was guiding me, let's say a little bit, and so playing some Munzee too. You have yeah. to reward. How about you? You have to reward yourself, mate. You do. You do. <laughs> Absolutely, I think so. So, thank you. And uh, what have you been up to, mate? Um, oh, last weekend I hosted an event. Yes, another one. I know, right? Um, yeah. My one was at a brewery here in New Jersey itself as well. We had five Munzee actual Munzee players there, and five I call them friendlies. Or uh, okay, a couple of people. Like one one guy came with his wife, for instance, and he's a player and she's not. So the, everyone calls her the cuddle muggle. Cuddle muggle. Okay. Cuddle muggle. There you go. But so yeah. So, All right. But yeah, we had five and five. Now, Rob, I did try and get a couple people, you know me. You know me. Yeah. You know, I had my referral cards there as well for them to, to to try and cap. And one of them did cap the referral cards, but alas, he reactivated his old account. Mm. And uh, and he'd already, you know, obviously capped too many. Yeah. But Rob, ready for this. Mm-hmm. Here's a tip. Again, straight away, straight off the bat with these tips, wow. Rob. This guy could not log in for the life of him. He changed his password. He changed his email address. He did all these different things and to try and log in. And he couldn't log in. And it wasn't until I looked at his phone, I got out of the actual app itself and had a look. I'm like, hang on. That's not the official Munzee logo. What the? <laughs> yeah. I looked, I researched afterwards, Rob. He had the actual app from over five or six years ago. Wow. Yeah, like the old, it was like white with a little green, and it was a funny looking M back in the day too. Yeah. Like it was a very like a lowercase M. I'm like, yeah. that looks very babyish sort wow. of thing. But now, and I said, no, 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 you've got to get rid of that app. And as soon as he got rid of that app, you know, uh, deleted that one, downloaded the new app, and then logged in easily. Perfect. Wow. You know, email address and uh, and his password, and there he was, bam. You know, and he said, "Oh, look at this! I've already got fifteen thousand points." I'm like, "Oh, is that all? I got fifteen thousand on the way here." But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so that's what we happened uh, for me over the over the actual weekend itself. Well, that's so cool. We had an enjoyable time, mate. We did. We went European style. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it was at a brewery, so and then we had five and five, so five friendlies, five Munzee players. Perfect. We, we sat around, Rob, for almost two hours, wow. two and a half hours, drinking beer and uh, shooting the, the talk. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's really great. Yeah. Um, if you're mm. not careful, you're going to make it on to like lose mega host or not mega, I shouldn't say, but super host uh, super list. Host. You know, you've already got two That'd under cool. your belt for this year. So I do. I'm I do. Yeah. I know. I know. And I do. I've actually come to really enjoy them, and yes, you know there is, there is a bit a bit to it as well. Um, but I love enjoying learning how to host. You see, yeah. and uh, and I deployed the flags as well. I had the flags going around the big block area. It's actually, it was actually three blocks worth of flags. Wow! Because you know me, Rob. I'm I'm a, I'm a chubby bloke. I like my, my cake, and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And everyone who actually, you know, we after we all finished, that's when we we all did the walk around and grabbed all the flags and stuff as well. So that was really cool. So you you did you that. For those without, turning up. You did it without Dale's help this time? 
I did. Hey. I bought the flags from Lowe's. Learning. I like Shout it. Shout out to Lowe's. Yeah. They were cheap. I bought the flags. I did my own color I like because I like blue. Blue is my favorite okay. color. So I did blue flags and they blended in, Rob. Wow. Like, you know, around the, the actual, what do you call it? The side, you call it sidewalk here in America, yeah. the footpath. Yeah. They blended in with a footpath and no one was touching it. We were, I'd had them deployed for four hours, Rob, oh. and no one touched any of them. So there you go. I'm impressed. There you well go. done. Yeah. Flags work. All right, let's get on with it. Already we're five minutes in again, Rob. <laughs> what happened else to everyone else around the, the world during the week that was? In events we had? In the U.S., we had Alabama, Massachusetts, California, New Jersey, you, yeah. and Minnesota. Some some big ones and out there. Yeah. There was. And around the world, we had Hungary, Finland, Switzerland, Denmark, and Victoria in Australia. The leaderboards, Rob. On Friday, we had Skindo with 1.2 million, Whelan, 1.1 million, and Humbird coming in just below that, over 1 million. And Saturday, here we go. We had, you ready for this, Rob? Q22, Q17, just because she likes her name being said, at yeah. 577,000 points. Sinja Tattoo, I think that's the way you say it. I'm not yeah. sure. 530,000. Rob, you did this to me again. Uh, <laughs> Kilton Curry at 447,000 points. And I do apologize to those last two if I did say your name incorrectly. I knew you didn't look ahead when you gave me friday no, because those were the two tricky names today yeah <laughs> synergia tattoo is what i would say and you were so you were good there keto keto yeah. curry is uh i believe keto finish curry. player i do not know that for a hundred percent but i think so and no, then they're not they're still playing they're still playing rob uh, 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 they're keto. Not, they're not oh. Finnish. Oh yeah. Not oh, Finnish. oh, I see. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't sure which word I said. Yes, there it is. No, oh, I know. Oh, oh. Anyway, Sunday. We're moving on. Sunday we had Sunday we had <laughs> T Jax in Minnesota, three hundred and eleven thousand Q twenty two Q seventeen. Once again, two hundred and nineteen thousand and Walden Run at one hundred and ninety six thousand. Look at that, Brenda. She gets a name thrown out there twice and in two mm -hmm. podcasts in a row each week. Look at that. Good job, Brenda. Mm. All right, current events this weekend coming in the USA. We've only got the two in Indiana and Missouri. And around the world, Rob? ACT in Australia. And guess what? That's the one that we've been yes, watching grow exactly. for quite a while now. And yeah. the numbers are looking good. You, I assume, are very impressed. It's 45 right now. Yeah, and that's 45, like, I'm going. That's not uh, – that yeah. haven't, they haven't capped yet. They haven't turned them yet because the event hasn't actually technically – well, technically – so the event starts on Saturday, Rob. But in Australia, this is the way they host these uh, geolocation-based gaming events. You like the way I said that? Um, yes. They, they do host them over like a week-long period. So the, these people, my friends, have gotten there yesterday, Rob, like Tuesdays. Wow. Tuesday, Wednesday, they get to the location at that day. They check in, and they're there for almost you know five or six days straight. And then they won't leave until Sunday or Monday. Um, that's wow. the way they work. Yeah. Cause it's an Easter long weekend period. So they take oh, yeah. like one or two days off work and they get a whole week off work. You see, that's the way it works. Um, but yeah, a friend of mine, I saw on her social media that she got there last night. She's all checked in and she's got arm in arm with other Munzee players already, <laughs> Rob, and already my cards down there are being capped left, right and center. So hopefully Rob, they turn, not turn, but they sort of encourage others out there who are uh, like-minded people to sort of, you know, get on board this fantastic game. So we have large events coming up as well over the next few months. We have Nottingham in England on April the 6th, and there's 46 so far there. That will go, Mick, surely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Things yeah, are yeah. looking good for them. Mm -hmm. uh, then next is in Minneapolis, uh, May 10th through 12th. That's Munzee Mania. We got 39 so far on the will attend and the plan. You and I both there. So exactly. that'll be good. Everybody come join us. We do have a new one. I wanted mm. to say, we've got a new one at yeah. the end of May oh. uh, that is a big event that you are definitely going to be there. Mm -hmm. And I am on the 90% uh, oh, list. So, wow. Yeah, tell us what it is. It is in Flagstaff, Arizona. And again, it's one of those events that's uh, hosted around another extremely large event um, in another geolocation-based game uh, called Geo Woodstock. And uh, yeah, so if you're down there for Geo Woodstock in that area, don't forget, and especially if you coexist, don't forget we have events happening down there. And there are May 4th, 24th to 26th. There's, I think there's four events in total, Rob, um, along in Flagstaff, Arizona through those days. 
Yeah, big big thanks to Vado Tech who has um, put mm-hmm. those on the calendar. Uh, he he'd been planning it and talking about it, and now it's on the calendar, so that makes it official. Which that means awesome. I can jump on the ninety percent uh, mark there <laughs> and, uh, and, and get closer to uh, showing up to that big event in a green jacket and uh, spreading the word. So, so if you haven't if you haven't gotten Rob's green jacket uh, Munzee tag and meet Rob, and if you haven't gotten meet the GCV. Josh is mm. going to be there as well, Rob. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid him. I paid him money for the, the Airbnb, so I, he better come. I'm just saying. So Josh, <laughs> Josh is going to be there as well. Minnesota boy, I know is he's coming also too. So there's going to be a few more there. So that's going to be a big, big event in Flagstaff, Arizona. And again, thanks to Vado Tech for all hosting those um, and others as well, Rob, because he, he does have help. Well, I didn't yeah. give the exact help, but he does have help. So yes. Yeah. Um, and then we have in Hampshire, UK on June 14th to the 16th, and there's 28 so far in the Hampshire, UK on in June. And again, that's going to rise because it's a few months away yet. So that'll yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If, you, uh, if you're not hearing your name and your mm. event, then please, will you send um, C. Michel a message? Because yeah. he's the one who puts these notes together and uh, yeah. we talk about them. So you want to hear about your event? Hopefully it's a growing event, mm-hmm. um, one that you're working to get people to go to. We'd love to talk about it as well. Exactly right. And make sure you do send it to me, not to Rob, because you want it to get read. So just saying. Correct. All right, Rob, de- developments from this current week coming up. We've now 11 minutes in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Firstly, I'd like to say this, and that is the Munzee Monthly Moments videos, uh, it's coming to an end shortly, the end of this month. Not to an end, but just this month. So we're going to come March. out in April again. Yeah, yeah, March, yeah. the March ones. So make sure you get your video submitted. Um, and then I go live, Rob. I'm going to go, It's not. this is not a joke, Rob. I'm going to go live okay. on April the 1st on the Munzee oh. YouTube channel to announce the winners and also draw for those extra prizes that we do as well. So make sure you, A, subscribe to the Munzee YouTube channel and, B, click the notification bell on that channel so you get notified as soon as I, like we go live itself from there. So, yeah, right. April 1st, not an April 1st joke. It is actually true. I'm going to go live on the Munzee YouTube channel channel to announce those winners uh, get your videos in asap what else yes, is happening Rob? Uh, and i know you're talking to me because i haven't yeah. done mine yet no and you haven't yeah i like badges so i need to do that and rob i'll be honest this this month's one as well it was your idea rob it was your idea. Oh. You said, yeah, it was. You said the dragon. You said you were so adamant. Oh, let's let's make them cup a dragon. I want them to cup a dragon. And I thought to myself, Rob, <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, the beginning, well, the end of last month when we come up with the idea of the dragon or you come up with the idea of the dragon, I thought it's going to be a little bit harder than what it actually was. But no, it's actually quite easy. People, if you're out there and you haven't got a video of you getting a dragon or whatever, all you have to do is magnetize a greenie or magnetize your Skyland or something like that um, or even your – what do you call it, your treehouse, and then do a, a screen record video of, of you capping a dragon. And I guarantee you, a dragon's going to land on there. If you, if you magnetize it, a dragon will land. They're out there. Right? I like it. Um, and clearly, you're not a member of the team because we don't blame Rob. I think you're confused. <laughs> we blame Scott. So it's definitely Scott's fault that we had to cap a dragon and video that this month. And so. you got to remember, Rob, I'm coming from a player, so not, not from the team. So <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right. You just proved it. No, exactly right. Yeah, I, you are correct. I am the one that said, um, it, it's the year of the dragon. Let's do something with the dragon. And then we came up with something. That people have to put some effort in. So that's and good. after the podcast, Rob, we've got to come up with something for April, just saying. Anyway, moving on, we've got Double Points Weekend on April, Rob. It's yeah, we announced, announced those. Yeah, we announced those this week. Yeah. And in case everyone's forgotten, we have um, events, special event packages that are going on mm-hmm. uh, throughout the month of April. So typically, everyone hosts their events on the weekend, you mm-hmm. know, because that's when people can gather. So we've got Double Point Weekends. Uh, the first weekend, and I'll just tell you this, mm. every weekend is cards, flats, temp verts, and greenies. Hang on, okay? hang on, hang on, so, hang on. Rob, are you saying every weekend is double points for April? Every weekend <gasps> is double points for April. Oh, Correct. wow, wow. Okay, yep, keep going. Now I'm, I'm now I'm listening. Yes, yes, yes. Keep, keep that in mind for what we're <laughs> going to talk about next. But yes, carry on. So there you go. So we have those four things will be in all four weekends. Mm-hmm. You know, on the first weekend, which is April 5th through 7th, uh, we also add in all of the evolutions. So oh. 
all of the evolutions includes those Evo bouncers. So, oh, hang on. Yeah. So if, just if I use that potion, and, oh, ooh. oh, if I use that potion oh. and and deploy the uh, bouncer, does that is that double points for the bouncer? Double points for the cap ons that will come from the bouncer oh, because okay. the actual fifth stage when it turns into that uh, bouncer, yeah. you don't get any points for that. Oh, You've already got the why. points from the original deploy. Okay. Well, the well, then technically, math- mathematically, then Rob, you do get double points for the bouncer to go out because double double zero is still zero. Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> it's true. So yes, yes, everything is double. <laughs> all, all evolutions, all of them. Um, so uh, so keep those, get ready. Uh, that's going to be that first weekend. On the second weekend, which is the 12th through the 14th, we've added in all of the rums, everything oh. from the resellers. So that whole category. Um, oh, yeah. Question. So, Question. Quite a few in there. Oh, question. you with the questions. I know, yes, right? Well, I'm a player. Um, <laughs> the rums, the resellers. And last time, yeah. I, last month, I think it was, um, I worked it out that, that the cards themselves from reseller cards were worth the points and they went towards the reseller points for your clan wars. Mm-hmm. So with the double points being on resellers and on cards, mm-hmm. is that just double points or is it four times points? No, it's just double points. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Good try. I'm, I'm loophole and I'm trying to close any loophole, open any loopholes, mm-hmm. Rob. Just saying. Well, you know, now you just made me turn inside my own head and try and figure <laughs> out is there a way around that? <laughs> but no, we, we have done this um, many times in the past. Oh, okay. And oh, okay. I've never seen a ticket saying, hey, by the way, I got four. Um, 4x on my uh, or 8x if you've got a deploy booster on. Oh, my goodness. That would be wild. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> The third weekend, you'll have questions here too, I'm sure, so get ready. Third weekend, which is the 19th through the 21st, we're doing something new this time. Mm-hmm. Um, we, thought we'd, we thought we'd try something a little bit different, uh, and it, and it kind of comes from the new set of uh, tasks in the Clan Wars, which is we're doing double points on scatters. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Crazy, right? Yeah, I know. We were we were sitting and having a conversation as a team. Like, what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. And and this was tossed out there. And the first question was, "Can we? Can we do that?" And uh, the answer came back quickly from Robbie. I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so you know, just a, a couple of uh, clicks, and and we hear him say, "Yep, it's possible. Let's do it." And it was nice. like, "Okay, we're doing it." No. Nice. So, yeah, trying something a little bit different. So yeah. the nice part about scatters is that they mm-hmm. come from literally all the different lines. There's yeah. scatters that come off of like Zodiacs. There's scatters that come off of bouncers. There's scatters that come off of um, mystery types, mm-hmm. um, gaming types. So yeah. everything that's out there, not everything, a lot of things that are out there um, send these scatters. Yeah. And uh, well, it's a good thing. And to, and, and to give people a tip as well, and we learnt this, um, or I learnt this personally on, uh, what do you call it, in, in the Mad- Munzee Madness. Oh, and, yeah. and, and you said to me at the time, oh, Wheeling won't like you finding out about this, Craig. And that is, <laughs> yeah. if you want that, there's, there's badges out there, people, for your first to cap. So if you're first to cap something, you know, you, if, if so many times, you get a badge. And so called, they're called first responder badges. Again, yeah. nice and close to my heart. I do appreciate it, Rob. I like that. Yeah, um, yeah. So if you're after more badges, then the more scatters you collect, each time you collect a scatter, you're the first to cap and the only one to cap on that scatter. But yes. still, they're still counted towards the first to cap. They don't have to be a greenie. They don't have to be, you know, a mystery virtual or whatever else out there as well. It can be the scatters are the first to cap as well, go towards it. So if you want those badges, people, and if you want to try and catch Whelan, because he's number one in, in still with first to caps, I do believe. If you want to catch W. Helen... Yeah, yeah, I think he might be. If you want to catch a W Helen in some degree, it's it, yeah, first caps may be the way. Anyway, what else do we have, Rob? Uh, then the final weekend, the 26th through the 28th, we have mm-hmm. added in again something new. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so this time we've gone with places. So places, um, you know, has been something that we've had lots of conversations. Um, yeah. And this is actually something that came up, you know, here uh, back when we made daily greenies mm-hmm. um 
So yeah, so we've added places. We're going to go double points. Um, let's call it a test. Oh, nice. Now, a question again, Rob. Places is, is that cap on as well as uh, capping? Mm -hmm. So that's it's deploy. It's, it's cap on. Oh, it's cap. Yeah. Oh, there you yeah. go. So those those people out there with a, a, a great amount of actual places under their belt can just uh, sit back and relax a little bit and get double cap ons on places. It's not that much. Let's be honest. Twenty points. It, yeah, it turns yeah. to forty. It's not. It's not big, but it's still. It's still decent. So there you go. Yeah. All right, that's it. Also, clan requirements were released as well, Rob, and no new types I saw either that for requirements. Just a continuation of uh, of March. So we're going into April yeah. as a continuation of March because it was nice and peaceful for Rob. He didn't get any complaints. No, no mm -hmm. one was. I, I like uh, the the uh, Munzee Maniacs podcast. They don't call it the water cooler anymore. They call it the wine cooler. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was pretty funny. Was um, it's funny. not whiny. It's not whiny every day, um, no, no, which no. is kind of nice. So um, yeah. it gets watered down. Uh -huh. Anyway, oh, the um, the the it, it, March was a nice month mm -hmm. because there was um, there was just something new, something fresh. Yeah. And so I hope that everyone was paying attention, and I hope that everyone took. Um, took the low numbers as fair warning mm -hmm. because, um, uh, you know, that was an intro. These were introductory <laughs> points. Well, I'm not going to mess around. Once we get into it, then it's like, oh, oh, you thought Evo bouncers were cool. Me too. Watch this. And <laughs> then the same thing with scatters. Like, I personally got something like 18,000 points from scatters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and that's not even necessarily like trying. Like, no, uh, you know, no. I, I made enough for my one man clan for the whole month. And I was exactly. like, oh, well, that was easy. Let's <laughs> see what everyone else thinks. <laughs> so everyone it, now, everyone now is saying to you, Rob, they're saying, please, Rob, can you just stop playing a little bit like outside? Just, yeah. just work, just work. Don't play, mm -hmm. just work. <laughs> no, and that's the thing. Everyone needs to remember that April is uh, a nicer mm -hmm. month as far as weather is concerned yeah. worldwide. So March, April, May, you know, you, whichever hemisphere, things are, are slightly better. You live mm -hmm. at the equator. Hey, that's your choice. You you are going to sweat all day, every day for the whole year. So <laughs> for, um, for the rest of us that are polar opposite type places, um, it's a good month to get outdoors. So, you know, I'm just trying to encourage everybody mm -hmm. and that's all. I just exactly. want everybody to get out there and do some exercise and get to walk in and all that kind of stuff. I will say, Rob, I will say, and people must learn from history and the and your history and the Munzee history. And that is they, they'll get the, any money. They'll get the, uh, the, what do you call it? The clan requirements for the month. They'll go, oh no, this has gone up and this has gone up and this has gone up. But people, look what happened in March. Everyone in the start complained and saying, oh, the mechs and the mechs and the mechs and the mechs. Rob and the team want you to fulfill your clan requirements. They don't want mm -hmm. you to miss out, you know. No. So uh, halfway through the month, things may happen. So don't all try and get all your points in the first week and all the places in the first week and all this in the first week. You know, you have the whole month to obtain it. And that's number one. And number two, it's called a challenge for a reason, these things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you mm -hmm. know, if you can't get to, oh, well, I'm normally a level five clan and this month we're only going to get to level four. You know what? There's level three clans out there that can't get past level three. So well done. Congratulations. You got to level four. So guys, all I'm saying is there's no need to complain. This is all fun. It's all, you know, get outside, get some exercise, get some fresh air. And speaking of which, Rob, I'm going to move on now because Ooh. I did something yesterday um, yeah, you with did. your, with, well, I was guided by you yesterday, firstly, and, uh, and then I was guided by something else called Cappy the Unicorn. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we've been we've been doing some testing. You were there at Munzee Madness mm. 13 um, as part of that introductory group. Mm -hmm. And so here's one minute on three different subjects so that we can wrap this up quickly. Yeah. All right. So here here's here's where we're at. Cappy the Unicorn is ready to go on adventures with everyone. And he is coming soon. I have been telling people late March, early April. Early April is the landing point. We're sticking mm -hmm. it. It's there. So Cappy's ready, and he's about to take everyone on a daily stroll. Well, he's about to go with you on a daily stroll. Mm -hmm. It is your choice, though. So, yeah, you have questions. Oh, well, there's going to be people out there, Rob, who don't like mm -hmm. change. You know, yeah. there is. Um, yeah. I did see on this, on, this, on this app, 
well, it's, it's the same app. It's the same thing, but it's just an addition of Cappy being in the top corner. And he's yeah. basically reminding you, hey, I'm here. I'm here. Let's go for a walk. I'm here. Let's go for a walk. Can he be turned off? Yes. The, the... So for those people who do not like change to their map, mm-hmm. well, good news. You can have him disappear. Now, here's the bad news for you. Mm-hmm. He'll only disappear after you interact with him because we want people with oh, that daily activity. And so we yeah. want them going out. So don't forget that uh, you are not forced into doing anything. It no. is always your choice. That's right. uh, there are ways for you to remove him from the map after you have done the one thing that we want you to do. So mm-hmm. is he compulsory? Is he mandatory? Absolutely not. No. But if you want to make some changes yourself, then you need to do the basics with us, and that That's would be easy. appreciated. So, yes, yeah. yeah. Can and, you tell me how this has gone with you? What has been well, a benefit? Okay. So, for me personally, as I said, I went out yesterday, and I recorded my entire session, Rob. Yeah, right. I did. I recorded my entire session. I sent it to you guys and said, this is my entire session. That, it only goes, guys, it only goes for 15 minutes, right? It is a 15-minute yeah. stroll, and it gets your heart pumping for two reasons. Well, number one is that you're obviously strolling, you're walking, and a big guy like me, the faster I walk, the quicker my heart beats, you know. And I did even, I, Rob, I even ran a couple of times. But anyway, what? that's for the video. I, and you can see it in the video. You can see my cheeks jumping up and down. I stopped <laughs> running. I stopped running, Rob, and the cheeks are still moving. Anyway, um, <laughs> the benefits of this is fun, exercise. You get some extra points as well. And it add, to me, Rob, it adds another dimension to the game. It kind of, it's almost like a fourth dimension to the game. Rob, yeah. here you go. I didn't. I've never spoken about this at all to anyone, but this is okay. for Robbie out there. Can you imagine though, if uh, you know, to actually instead of just viewing the map and going towards the pin on a map, for instance, if you could lift up your phone in camera mode and see mm. Cappy as a uh, a little creature in real time, in real in, in the third dimension, and he's like pointing this way, this way, this way. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. AI. Anyway. They AI. are just like Pokemon Go. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's a. That, I think that's a possibility. That would be really cool. But for me, Rob, the only thing I was down about is that I was by myself doing it. Right. So I, I was laughing at myself, Rob. I was enjoying myself. I was giggling. I was making jokes, and there was no one there to actually listen to me and understand me. You know, if I had a dog, I'd be okay. I think if I was with uh, friends or a partner, for instance, I think it'd be great. Now. People say, you know, oh, you can't really do it with a partner. And you can't, Rob, because each time you yeah. do it, you do it for your own self. And so you go left, right, center, you know, every every different direction. But make it a competition, Rob, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm like that. So if I was to go out and do this with my partner, I'd say straight away, okay, the bet's this. Whoever gets the least amount of stars does the dishes tonight. You see? Ooh. Make it more fun. Make it yeah. more intriguing. Make Put a wager on it. So, yeah. It is a personal competition. You it set is. your own little goal, and, and mm-hmm. you also can decide, like, nope, I'm done. You don't, exactly. you don't want to go for the whole 15 minutes. Cool. Don't go for the whole 15 minutes. No problem. Exactly. We're just setting you a timer. So exactly. all good. So that covers two things. That's yes. a little bit about Cappy. That's a little bit about the daily stroll. Yep. We learned through all the time that we had. I know. I know. Side for this. It's your fault if we go way, way, way <sighs> over. So no, do you want not. to talk about the, the third piece or shall we hold all, it? All I'll say about the third piece is number one, they're called wishing wells. Okay. Mm-hmm. And number two, yes, you go to a wishing well and make a wish more on that next week. Okay, I you like, like it. That? You like that? I like it. Yeah, I've got to mute you now, mate. I've got a special Sticker. guest. A special no. guest. I know, right? Please, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone else, uh, Sam. Yes, yeah, Sam from Cup of Z. Sam, mate, how are you, buddy? I'm doing all right, <laughs> mate. I'm telling you now. A quick, a quick th- round thing for you, for Sam because he hasn't been on the show before, and not many people have actually heard your accent personally. I'm not a really a big fan of the, the British accent, but I like yours, mate. I enjoy yours. <laughs> oh. where, where are you from, buddy? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bedford in England. Bedford in England. Is that anywhere near Lou, Rob? Like, it's, I don't know my, my British districts. It's a couple hours away from us. There you go. There you go. All right, Sam, let's get on to this straight away. It's the Munsey question of the week. And this question, Sam, came from me to you personally, and I thought to myself, why not? Other people need to know this. And the question is this. Now with the new Glass Guardians coming out every single month, and you know I've, I'm, I'm buying my third one today as we speak. I'm allowed to. Uh, I want to change the skins because, of course, I've got a streak like a lot of people out there. So I want to change my Glass Guardian skin. Now, how can I filter out my Glass Guardians so I can actually change their skin for other people to cap? Tell me, Sam. All right. You've got a couple of options here. Your best bet is to go to Kapazi. From Kapazi, you head to the My Bouncers page. And that gives you a map, and if you swipe up, a list of all of your bouncers. 
From there, you can quite quickly find your Glass Guardian. If you tap on it, then tap View in Munzee app. It opens the Munzee app right in your Munzee app, and you can click on Menu and click Convert. There you go. Rob, did you know that? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> and that does seem much easier than what I've been doing. Exactly. Is, is there any other ways? Sam? I think there's three different ways you told me. The other option, once you're on the My Bounces page uh, and tap on your Munzee, you can also tap on Open on Munzee.com, which opens the website up instead of the app. And your third option, from the Munzee website, if you head to your Deploys list, there's a Filters section at the top and a little unicorn icon you can click on. And then you can find your Glass Guardian quite a bit quicker from there. Oh, Rob, do you know how I did it? I went no. to the I went to the website. I went up to my deploys list. Sam, look, Sam's already laughing because he knows. <laughs> and I sat there on my deployed list, scroll, 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 mm. <laughs> all the way That's... through, until I found a glass guardian of the, of the two I've already got. So you yeah. are a rookie, sir. So I know. Well, this is the reason why we have these questions. I, I've only known about option number three. Didn't mm. realize I could do that on uh, Cup of Z, But here's what I will say. Mm-hmm. Um. Two of these things have been built by Sam, and one of them have not. Mm. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder which one it is that uh, was not yet. But but Sam, just to go on that as well, if if people have issues etc. with Cup of Z etc. as well, I know you're very you're very prolific on Discord, so they can contact you on Discord, mate, if they need to. Indeed, they can. There you go. Contact Sam on Discord if you have any questions in regards to cuppers, etc. Or just go to support at munzi.com and it'll be gifted out to one of the people who require to answer those sort of questions. Anyway, I went straight to the source, Rob. So there you go. Thank you very much, Sam, for joining us, mate. And uh, you get back to work, mate. Get back to work. Have a cuppa on me. <laughs> did you even know, Rob, did you even know Sam was coming on the show? You didn't, did you? I did not. No, I woke <laughs> up and I wanted to go back to bed because what exactly is the point of me being on the podcast? Well, you have to end it with me, Rob. You, you oh, got okay. lines, mate. You got lines. But anyway, <laughs> all right, Rob, I'm going to move on now quickly for the Munzee tip of the week. This tip of the week comes from me this time. Ooh. And I had a great time. I haven't even told you this story yet. I was uh, riding along with my, my, my new referral. Mm-hmm. And she, I told you, Rob, she loves the, uh, the the artwork, you see. And she doesn't have the auto off, you know, the auto pop-up off. She doesn't yeah. have that. Why? Because she wants to, she stops, Rob. She physically finds a parking space and parks to open up Skylands so she can sit there and intently watch all the bounces that come on. And then she reads, Rob, as well. So she reads the little blurbs. Now, I miss out. I do, I do. I miss out. I'm not sure who this is, you know, in the Munzee world, but they yeah. come up with some great blurbs at the bottom and to tell you the story about how it originally happened. Well, she saw one, Rob, and she was horrified. She laughed, oh. but then wow. was horrified. And yeah. it was it was the glowing unicorn. And because at the bottom it says, we told you to take him to the glue factory, not the glow factory. Ah, <laughs> uh, no way. That's too funny. I love, I love to see people yeah. that have changed the name of their yeah. bouncers and, uh, and yeah, been creative. <laughs> there are some funny ones out there. So, guys, this tip is to slow down, you know, actually more appreciate this game and appreciate everyone out there for their humor and for and to encourage people to to read you know some of the things that goes on because there's a lot of thought process even the cards rob as well some of the cards i love some of the names of the cards that come through yeah. as well they're hilarious so slow write down and read yeah write a note to those people leave a little journal entry tell exactly. them how much you enjoyed it take a picture mm-hmm. i mean the, those things it's free to do that leave exactly a, like just just tell people you appreciate them Great. more interaction is always good all right, Rob. So there you go, mate. The year ends another official Munzee podcast. Thanks for joining us and Sam on this Munzee adventure. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, rate, <laughs> and review on your favorite podcasting app and join us again, of course, for another informative episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of mobile game players. So keep scanning, keep discovering, and keep that Munzee spirit alive. Rob, one, two, three, Munzee on. You Nope. Oh, wow. Lindsay on. Obviously, you should ask Sam to say it. I will next time. <laughs>